Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. Welcome to yet another edition of International Forum. I am Wilson of Marshall. Today we'll be delving down into U.S. politics where you get to see Donald Trump still talking to up despite the myriads of court cases, the suits against him. You get to hear him being summoned here. You get to see him being uh, called uh, uh, to Virus County to address a kind of a particular case or the other. But it's like the man is standing so, so strong despite allegations levied against him. Don't forget that his uh, uh, estate was raided by FBI agents. And that case is somewhat in court. You get to hear about the molestation, the rape case. Uh, so many things just been thrown at this man. The big question now is... Who is afraid of Donald Trump or the allegations levied against him? Was it really culpable? And most importantly, these allegations levied against him, is it going to have an impact in his bid to be the president of the United States of America? The Republicans, the Democrats, they do have other contenders, but how come this man's uh, activities and events is so so loud and people have been talking so much about it the man trump that is what we particularly look at today and his myriads of problems is it going to be a stepping stone or a stumbling block to his ambition of becoming the number one man in the united states of america would we'll be here in the studio to talk about this I'm going to start my introduction from my immediate left. He is a clergyman, a political analyst, political affairs commentator. Join me to welcome Reverend Humphrey Arega. Reverend, welcome to International Forum. I appreciate your coming. My it's pleasure. been a while. You went off the grid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very answer. much. It's been a very All right. busy, tough time. But I just yeah. squeeze out my time to say I must be here before too long. Uh, thanks a lot for Thank your you. case. I appreciate that. we very close to him. He was a labor devotee, but don't forget, once a labor devotee, always a labor devotee, all right? One time, all the vice chairman of Nigeria Labor Congress, when you talk about local and international politics, it is well grounded after all. He's into impartation of knowledge, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, don't forget also, in the Ministry of Agriculture, he was also a palm sec, though retired, not Tired. Join me to welcome Bashir Kadri. Welcome to International Forum, sir. I appreciate you coming. Having me here. Thank all you. Right. All yeah. right. I'm going to start off with you, comrade. The man Trump and his myriads of problem. Despite that, he is still talking so so tough. Despite the myriad of law cases there's been against him on this wire. He's still going about telling the U.S. of his ambition to return to that over office to make America great again. What do you have to say about all this? Well, we've seen uh, American politics has been in the, in the radar for quite some time now. Uh, Trump, coming of Trump, changing narrative, and also express a great one about the American people. Again, American people also show that they own their country, not only that own their country. And that was why this that election, Trump lost the election. But he was too confident that we going to win the election, as it were. But incidentally, he lost it because Americans own their country. Institutions work in America. It is not about uh, individual opinion or emotions. It's not about sentiment of where you come from or religion. It's about the American people and what they think about you, they decide. So, and of course, that, that explains to you that democracy is, has made serious impact in America and is now getting more stable on a daily basis. However, um, in America and democratically in every, across the globe, you cannot say a man is guilty until he's so proved by a court of, uh, of uh, competent jurisdiction. So, if the case is in court, I don't think it's necessary for him to talk about whether, it, whether he is right or wrong or whether and all of that. But what is important? is that the social, social, social impact of this whole ratmatas, I call it ratmatas. Don't forget that Donald Trump is also a um, promoter of uh, social gatherings in terms of beauty competition, pageantry and all of that. He's been into those kind of sponsorships. So uh, I'm not surprised that we have this kind of drama uh, trailing him all along. And in addition to is that he has followership 
Mm. And because in American society, a lot of people are quite theatrical. Mm. So, and he is doing that, and the people are following him and convinced mm. that he's going to come back again. Oh, don't forget that the story of the of the attack on the parliament, American parliament. Yeah, the capital. The capital, where he also made his comment and suggested that he was part of the arrangement to get that place attacked because of his ambition. Now, all of these are the stories around him. But what I think is that he's, he's, uh, he has the, he's free to contest American presidency, but uh, that his freedom is also determined by whether the people will choo choose him or not. And whatever he's having in his hands now, I don't want to suggest that uh, they are just designed to stop him. I don't suggest so. I just think that in America, institutions work. And because institutions work, if anything you do in America, they will ask questions. And so they're asking questions. So if the questions they asked have answers, and the answers are good enough, so be it. But for me to suggest that because of his ambition, that's why they're attacking him, I'm not sure that is very correct. I think what is correct is that they're asking questions as to your attitude in X, Y, Z situation. What do you have to say? And let the court, so for me, let the court decide if the, if the man had issues or there's a case against him, let the court decide that he's guilty or he's not guilty. But however, like I said, as an American president, as an American person, he has a right to contest. But his qualification is dependent on what the court will say about him. All right. I'll come back to you, comrade. Well, you heard him. He said that one do have, uh, you know, the right to contest. That is God-given right to contest. But in America, they're asking questions. Why is, did this happen during your time? Why were you accused of this? Of course, he's going to answer to the court. But do you see anything so special about you know, what is happening to Trump right now? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I want to appreciate my colleague and what analysis he has given. Um, I, I think the beauty of it all is that the slogan, no one is above the law, is being made manifest in the US, unlike what we may have in Nigeria. But here is that, like he also said, every, in America, everyone is accountable for his actions and his words. So he is not being unjustly, unjustly targeted. Again, you also know that we are human beings. Every leader, no matter how bad he is, has his followers. And there are those who are fanatical about the person, and as far as they are concerned, the person can do no wrong. That is what is also playing out to some persons. But the beauty of it is that no matter how fanatical you are, you are subject to the law. And once there is the institutions, and that's what we keep saying in this country, in Africa, let institutions work. Institutions, uh, I said one time, some places, I said, for the Nigerian judiciary, for instance, they let them remove that blindfolding because it doesn't mean anything to us. But in America, that thing works. The law has no respect of, it's not respect of persons. You come before the law, and you're able to justify yourself. You have, have freedom, and then you have freedom of speech. That is also playing out. In Africa, for instance, if you make a speech that is not com very conducive to those in authority, you are gone. It doesn't matter who you are. But here is the man, if you hear Donald the, the Trump's words against those who don't like him, you will ask yourself the question whether the man has uh, a, 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 a decency, whether he might have decency in life. You know, even when he was contesting for election, they, they used to talk about presidential decency, presidential norms. He doesn't have those norms. He is himself, and that is what is playing out. But I'm glad that uh, when they talk about classified documents, which means there are documents that you're not supposed to remove due to the sensitivity as it affects the American nation and people. And so when you do that, you're going to answer why and justify why you do it. And that's exactly what he's going to do, because I thought he's saying, oh, I, I forgot. Uh, I thought. The American society does not believe in I thought. It's that I know. And that they will make you pay for it. So it, it is, to me, it opens the eyes of everyone. And I'm sure that maybe in Nigeria, for instance, we'll also be looking at that. As we deliberate on the issues affecting our country, we should be able to ask ourselves, why is the judiciary not as independent? 
Look at what is happening. The, the, the Department of Justice is not subject to the U.S. President. <laughs> Unlike you know, when, when the Minister of Justice and Attorney General takes directions from the President, the district, the, 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 the DOJ in America does not take directives from the U.S. President. They are independent. They do what they think should be right to do. And that is the only way that every man can be held accountable. Because if you are overlord, you cannot attempt to bring your ogre to justice. It, it makes no, it, it will make no sense. But again, you also find that culture is also something that needs to be done. Even Republicans in the US, some of them are beginning to say, look, his actions and his attitude does not defeat someone who be the number one citizen of the country. Because they're no longer feeling safe. But like you said, the law is allowed to take its course. If at the end of the day, they find out that he has not done anything wrong, he goes ahead and does whatever he wants to do. But so long as that thing goes, and you see, you can also see something that are happening. Why? He, he is trying to play the car he always plays to make sure that he extends. He makes sure things don't work at the time he should work. He's trying to make sure that the, the law does not take his course until after the election because he knows that when the judgment is given, even those who shouted yes for you, when the judgment is against you, they turn their back and they go and do something else. You know? but, but our belief is that, my own belief, which is that the Americans should represent that example they have seen to represent as a country of law and order. All right. As a country where justice prevails, no matter whose earth is God. God. Now, for what Donald Trump said, he said he isn't only the ex-president right now that has done what he did. Some other ex-president, they do have some of these documents with them. How come he was singled out to be punished? It was not a matter or a case of witch hunt because they have history that uh, uh, one president X Y Z of America, yes, he or she was found, but he was found, so also document despite the fact that he's no longer in power. And nobody made any fuss about that. There was no fuss about it, nothing. When it came to Donald Trump, it's like all hell in court right now. He's been let loose. Well, uh, Wilson, a man who is accused of crime must have a defense. He's natural. He can't just sit back and say, I'm guilty. <laughs> if you say so, then something must be wrong. <laughs> uh, so when Trump is making an argument, as far as I'm concerned, he has the right to make his arguments. Whether the arguments are plausible, whether they, they, are, they are within the bracket of acceptable positions, it's a different ballgame entirely. You know, Trump, uh, with due regard to his sensibility and his age, because he's my senior in age, <laughs> You see, he's very gregarious, and he does not have respect for anybody. Everybody, as far as he's concerned, is subhuman. He's really human standing. And that's why, why he was in the office, he said people, I will sack you, I will fire you, and I will fire you. He didn't give a hoot as to what, who he tells such things to. As far as he's concerned, he's a superior human being, that person is inferior. And that was why he thought that it was a right for him to win the elections in America second tenure. But incidentally, he lost it all when he, the assumptions were wrong assumptions. America is not a country where imperial majesty, they take the pace. It's not a country where the czar, uh, they take who, what, what happens next, like you have in the East. Of course, there's no longer the czar dynasty that is almost fading out now. And he believes that he has everything and nobody has what he has. So he should be the one to rule America. But unfortunately, history is not clear that he was told that he's not the person he thinks he is. And that America remains America, where institutions work, where, where law makes sense, where people's rights are not undermined. And so for me, Trump character is something that people have to do a research on, because it's a research material. And you know in America there are people like him, too many people like him, who have these egocentric tendencies like the supremacists, the people that their white color makes them superior to every other human being. They are his colleagues, they are part of his group. And that was why Trump is still very bitter 
even to tomorrow, if you mention Obama's name in his presence, he will feel like punching you at the punch bag. Because he didn't know how an, a black man, whoever had come to rule America, as far as he's concerned, it is an anathema and should not be mentioned at all. And that was why all uh, Obama's landmark achievements, what he did was to make sure that he removed them and he never wanted them to hear any story. But essentially, no man can stop history. You can only say what you don't want to hear, but you cannot stop what has been said in history. History has been a permanent thing. Why men are continuously moving out of society, out of world, passing on to the greater world, uh, they, their history are still in the people's minds, those who are close to him. So for me, Donald Trump is somebody who will not learn. I'm afraid to say this. I mean, I mean I'm, 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 I'm worried, really worried for him. Because for his own good, if he, if he had opportunity of, if he was somebody who would learn, I would not believe that he's superior. I'm sure by now he would have been learning all those things that happened in his time as president. And Americans who are genuinely thinking of America will be afraid that if this man comes to continue, then we are in for real trouble. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, Donald Trump is one historical reference in American history, in, in modern history of America. And, and uh, for him to be believe that he's still superior, that he will see an election again in America, shows that something is completely wrong with his thought pattern, uh, with due regard to his sensibility. Now, that also explains that the, who are Americans. A lot of American people are not too stable. And that's why it's covered that the world today is being influenced by those unstable characters of people in America. A lot of people watch America as a sample. When somebody go on the street and get naked, somebody stand on the stage and get naked, and somebody says his assignment is just to do nakedness and nothing more, and that's what he does for a living. You know, it shows how, uh, how mundane those thoughts can be. But they are forming part of global, uh, global tradition. Even if you go today, you find people doing the same. So I'm not surprised that that, that country wants to elect somebody like, like Donald Trump in spite of all his, um, his, his uh, drama, rawness, and untamed concepts, and uncultured perceptions of life, and believe that every other human being. Imagine that during the, the election that brought him in 2016, what was he saying? He was simply saying, vote for me and go and die. You can, you can imagine so America, they didn't take it as that. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Many of them, they no, 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 hold on a minute. I'm, yes. telling, that's what I'm telling you now. Okay. I have already given you a premise that the, in America there are too many people like that who are theater artists, who have some unstable tendencies. So they have a follower, or he has a, he has a, he's a mentor of many of them. And, and I think that that is the danger that Americans would have passed through. Thank God they were able to rescue themselves. Because if a society has that, that kind of people, as many as they are in America, they need somebody who is, who is more stable to manage their affairs. Not, not people like them who are not stable. But essentially, the good grace is that God gave them the wisdom to be able to check it. The next phase we are going to now is Trump wanted to come back. Because the average American who is a white man, uh, Wilson, does not believe that you have a right as a black man to live in America. You don't have a right. And that is the kind of drama that is happening. And the conspiracy is very strong. Okay? The same thing with the gender sensitivity they have in America. That's also the same thing they have with the color. So, like I said, they are still surprised and still wondering how can a black man come here and become president? How did it happen? How did it happen? So, for many years to come, they will still be wondering. But essentially, a black man predicted in 1956 or thereabout that I had a dream that one day the black man and the black lady were walking in American streets. And on one day, the black man who managed the American world. Today, America has the history now that Obama ruled America. And in fact, his com second coming was even more dramatic when he had almost 100% votes to become American president. Oh. So for me, the truth is that I am not surprised that Americans, they have followers that are very, very, very deadly and they prepared to die for him. There are many. Okay. It is true. But what is also true is that whether those numbers that are, we are seeing on the screen uh, can influence his election coming back again we'll come to is that. a different argument. We'll come to that. 
But for what Donald Trump said, he said, look, all these lawsuits are just aspects, or will I say, attack on his personality, and it's a matter of witch hunt. That the more the witch hunt him, the more he gets popular, and he will eventually go into become the president. What do you feel about his comments toward his lawsuits unleashed at him? Well, um, you know, everybody has certain degree of lifestyle that is patterned with him, and they go with it. It's a, it's a, a survivor game that he is used that he's used to. He's used to uh, the media using the media as a propaganda tool to get what he wants. So you know. Uh, like I said, when people are crazy about you, it doesn't matter what you do, they are ready to die for you. And that's exactly what has happened. But my, my joy in the American scenario is that sanity still prevails to a large extent. When you hear Mike Pence spoke some days ago, I hear Chris Christie also made some comments. These are persons who were with him in 2015. Now they are saying to you, what you have done is wrong. They are saying to you, the actions you have taken is not uh, legal. See, a lot of persons, you have seen his lawyers, these are some of the things that I look into. A lot of his lawyers have deserted him because they said he is using them against the law. And you know, Trump also has, just, well, he said, make a comment. Trump, Trump does not, uh, it doesn't take a hood as to what happens to you, so long as it benefits. Simple. The day you say something that doesn't benefit, he throws you under the bus. You know? And that is what some persons have suffered in his hand. And America has also suffered. You heard in the heat of matter when he was uh, dining with uh, Putin against American interests. And they are asking, can we trust this man with America again? The documents that were taken, some of them were relating to how Americans were going to react to certain situations and principles and, and process of war. And these are documents that have been released in an open air. And you are, you are just asking questions. These are things that people's lives has hinged upon. There are certain persons who were detectives in the American scenario that have paid the price for some of the things that he has done. Because every life is important to some extent. But we also see the issue of the, the insurrection in, in the general uh, 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 situation yeah. where the hallowed chambers of the American Congress were desecrated. It doesn't happen. You know, there are certain things people don't take especially when you come to America. If you go to the law, uh, to the court, you cannot, there are certain things you can't do when you enter the, the court of law. Because as far as they are concerned, that is the temple of justice. I must respect that environment. He has desecrated all of them. There's, if you see the way he, are, he, he abuses judges, the way he abuses people, the way he threatens people, you can't expect a sane person, without due respect, to do that. You, you talk with some measure of decorum. You are accused of something. It is not threatening anybody that makes you win a case. Where in Africa, if you threaten the judge, you might even withdraw. But in America is not going to withdraw because he has taken an oath. Look at the issue of elections in certain states that even uh, Republicans were in charge. Look at how the persons he wanted to overturn the election refused because they know that the principles are not of justice. They do not owe allegiance to the president, they owe allegiance to the nation. I think these are the things that we need to begin to look at. In, the, in Nigeria, for instance, people owe allegiance to leaders. They don't owe allegiance to the nation. That's why certain things are done and they are not, there's no constitution of anything. But in America, America first before any other person, before any other anything. And once that is threatened, which they have, they are so seen, we should know what is going to happen. So we, as far as I'm concerned, just like my colleague said, it's something that we need to study. The, every situation gives you opportunity to ask questions and to learn what are the 
what are the profit issues you need to get, and what are things you need to refrain from. Of course, in Africa, learning is a problem, so we don't learn. But Americans are, you know, each day as the things go by, you find that most, most people are beginning to ask questions as to his suitability to become American president, whether from the Republican, the Democrat, and a lot of other things. Even at Congress, he's the only American president that has been impeached twice. There's no other person. It, you talk about the issue of other people having documents. When uh, Biden was accused, and Pence were accused, they allowed the uh, authorities to go to the house and look at the thing. That what they told them, the, the, the president. If you had allowed... But Trump wasn't informed. No, he, he was. He was. The, the, no, no, no. I no, told no. him he was taken all that way. Forget about him. They were legal. The FBI gave, went to the court when he didn't answer anybody, and there was a court subpoena for him to allow them. He did it. The judge, some of his lawyers, two of them, said that he even made it for them to remove the materials, and again, all of a sudden, they were asking them to remove the CCTV camera. That went, he, he knew. So let us, I, I'm not, what he says, for me, I don't know what he says for anything. I try to look at what is happening in the judiciary. What are the things that have been said? The things that the, um, the prosecutor has been outlining, they were not imaginations. That's why people from the oppo his own side are beginning to say, look, this, even justices, even lawyers of different parts are beginning to say, these things are clear enough for some things, but let the justice, judicial system take its course. If he had only allowed, anybody can make a mistake. He's a human being. If the documents are, but did you see the piles and piles of documents that we're talking about, the boxes? Did you see it? You cannot be telling anybody that these boxes that are full of uh, material that are not supposed to be with you, that should be with you, and then you are trying to make sure that they were hidden. Okay. So, let us, I, I, I don't have any problem with it. I didn't like as I as a person, because when he was campaigning in 2015, he said in, even in Washington, that he can shoot anybody and nobody, nothing will happen. Okay, and well, that's exactly what is playing out. He can do anything. <laughs> well, we'll come back to no, that. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Mm. Because, because, because right now, uh, Americans like saying that uh, we have to learn how to differentiate personalities from the state. They need someone that is tough, outspoken like him to run America, to make America great again. After all, he is the one that speaks the mind of so many Americans. We're going to react to that or return after this break. Don't go away. Thank you so much for staying. Jennifer just joined us. This is International Forum. We're taking a look at the numerous uh, lawsuits against Donald Trump, the implication, the impact on this presidential ambition with all these on the ground that you think is going to scale through and I have two veterans who have been in the studio that are sharing their thoughts and their opinions <coughs> they're going to us one direction they're giving good reasons for them saying from the way this guy is going anyway just keep watching keep listening now I asked a question before we went on that break about the love the man still gets from Americans we're talking about white Americans, black Americans, Hispanic, you just name it. You have persons from this particular sex singing the praise of Trump despite these numerous lawsuits that have been leveled against him to speak. What do you have to say about that? Um, Wilson, I asked you just now, but he lost the election that brought Biden. Is it not true? And they alleged that it was rigged. No, 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 hold on a minute. But he alleged that it was rigged. No, no, hold on a minute, but he lost the election. Is it true? According to their own... Uh, no, hold on. No, 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 hold on. Don't forget what he said. Let no, no, see, no, see, see, see. No, see, see. see. It was rigged. Can, can we listen? Can we listen? <laughs> Let's get it clear here. All right. Trump, uh, uh, Wilson, if you say something was not right, and the law says that thing is right, who is superior in the argument? Who is superior? No, who is superior? You can continue. You can no, continue. no, 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 because no, 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 you are the one. No, 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 tell me. Who is superior? <laughs> That's why I use the word alleged. No, 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 you are on the way. You are on the way like Trump. You are on the way. Now, the issue is this, is that the American law says there was no election ringing. He had opportunity of proving it before a standing court of jurisdiction. He, he could not prove that one reason why he said it was ringing. He could not prove it. 
And America has some sense of justice. It's not an emotional dream society. Otherwise, you have had people, more people dead than ever before. Don't forget that America has one of the largest killing system in the country, yeah. where people carry guns at free will. And that's why I'm praying God that God should rescue America from the hands of Trump. Now, if you have that position, you cannot start tick tick tack conversing like it was read. Because a thief will never say he's a thief. No matter how you put gun on his neck, except there are undercurrents that makes his head turn upside down. Now, the point I'm making is this, is that did Trump not lose the election in the last election to Biden? He did. And it was so clear that Biden won the election. But that doesn't suggest that Trump do not have followers. He has followers, certainly yes. Even madmen had followers in the streets. If you come to, if you go to town here, see, you see small boy sitting around a madman, clapping for him, dancing, he's dancing. Those are his followers. Whenever they hear his name, they jump out. They follow him. They follow him to anywhere he's going to. <laughs> so, so that's not an excuse. The point is that he's he going to win the election. If he claims that he was, that he was going to win the election, he's in the track. But he should not blackmail the system to say so that he had given a chance to go and contest. No. His opinion is not the law. The law is not his opinion. I think that's one thing that we need to be very clear about here. Sometimes people want their opinion to, to, make, the, to make the law. It cannot make the law. Your opinion, your opinion is, you, see, like, you know what they said? They said facts are sacred. Opinion is free. So make, is the facts is what we're talking about now, not your opinion. Left for Trump, he will remain forever as the Imperial Majesty of America, and nobody should contest election against him. And that is why even if you go to campaign, he, he can insult anybody at any time, doesn't give a hoot. Of course, maybe because of his background, he's also from a rich home, but at least a rich home should also be thinking of how to reason well. But however, that's a different ballgame entirely. The point we are making is this, is that Trump is trying to blackmail the Americans and the American system to give him the ticket. That's what they want to do. By, by calling names and making statements to suggest that he's being attacked. Who attack more than Trump? Who insult more than Trump? He insult everybody, even during the last contestation, the one that he won before he came on board. If you see what he did to his, to his contestants, you see what he did to, what's his name now, the other man, the other average height man? Um, Joe Santos or what? No, 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 no not Joe Santos. In 2015. In 2015. Okay, okay. Um, what's his name now? I'll let us continue. No, 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 I will recall that. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. It, it was like insulting the man. And everybody, as far as he's concerned, he can insult. But when you insult him once, he feel like blown up the roof. I mean, it, it, this is very vocal. What you can't tolerate, don't give somebody else to swallow. Everybody that come, come across Donald Trump suffer the fate. Imagine what he says now. His lawyers start running away from him. His aides start resigning. Because he does not know that everybody deserves respect. All to him is if, it, if it, what he wants, even if it's wrong, you don't do it, then you are fired. America is not, it's not a private estate like, like uh, Donald Trump's estate. It's not a private estate where he runs his business the way he wants to run it. It's, a, it's, it's an organized society. It's a country, for God's sake, where he benefited from. He's been benefiting from, from the American law that protected him all his life to the way he is now. And those laws, they cannot now undermine him because he wants to be president. That, that's, a, that's a problem. If a law protects you, also, Socrates told us, when Socrates was arrested and was said to, to have committed heresy, we're going to put him and kill him. And people came to him and said, no, you can't do this. They can't do it to you in the prison. And they were trying to convince him. He said, no, don't convince me. Just leave me. If this, the same law protected me from the day I was born till now, if the law now says it is time for him to go, he will go. All right. So All right. the point I'm making is that Trump believed that American law must be the way he thinks. So whether he's thinking rightly or wrongly, they must follow him. Whatever he does, does not matter. It is right. All right. So, and I said, that is not correct. Mm -hmm. And that is why he's making, what he's doing now is to blackmail the American society and the government and the law to make him a superior star. 
and does not work. Okay, you say it doesn't work. Now, let's take a look at what has been happening. A lawsuit got so, so strong, talking about the rape issue that it was, uh, like, you know, alleged, or well, I say rumor that if he's not careful, he may just go to jail. He was able to jump that hurdle. Another lawsuit again came about uh, those documents he took, and now he's facing other lawsuits. What do you think is the end game of this lawsuit? If not, what Donald Trump is predicting? They want to prevent him from running. That means the Democrats are afraid of the person of Trump. You see, that is an assertion that is very wrong. Hmm. It's not the Democrats prosecuting him. It is the law. Backed that, by who? No, no way. The Department of Justice is not accountable to political party, nor the president. It's not. They do things by constitution. They have the power to institute any case against anybody they feel by reason of information that have had an infraction against the law to pay the price. No whether the president say the president didn't direct. Biden didn't direct them to do it. They did it on their own because every archival material is supposed to be placed under the National Archives Commission, mm -hmm. not in your house. And once you leave the presidency, all the powers that you have to declassify materials and do anything is over. But these things were taken when he left presidency. And they said that they asked him to return it. And he did it. So two things. You see, all that over the period, Donald Trump has presented a phase that is not even correct. Look at his estate, for instance. By the time the, the uh, New York Attorney General went to court about his business and all, it was fraudulent. He didn't have the money he said he had. He was bankrupt. He didn't uh, have, he, 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 did, he even did not pay taxes he was supposed to pay to government. He didn't. So the man has not had any, mom, any moment of respect for the law except himself. Even the bank that guaranteed him money have had to refuse giving him money again. Is that the kind of person you want to run a nation? No. Because while he was running the country, there were certain issues that happened that the law would not allow. You see, he interfered with the judicial system. He tried to, tried to make it his own. Mm -hmm. He interfered with the Congress. Mm -hmm. The only reason why he, was able, he wasn't able to do that was because the Democrats were in charge of, of, of the Congress. Uh, part, part of the Congress. Mm. And that's where all things are initiated. It's not unlike in Nigeria where the House of Reps have no voice of anything. It's unfortunate that we copy the wrong way. We don't even copy anything. But in that environment, look at all the subpoenas that we're giving for the, for the parliament to have access mm -hmm. to information. It blocked all of them, which is not done anywhere. Have you heard that Biden have obstructed any of the any of the things for them not to? They are in charge of the the Republicans are in charge of the Congress mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. but they have access to information. What is difficult in you accepting? If you cannot accept to be obedient to the law and to be as human as other people should be, why do you want to? You are using the soup. He has divided America more than it has ever been. Americans are more divided between the white supremacists yes, and the other are. colors yeah. than ever. But you have colored persons, even in his government, while he was a president. Please. Uh, you have the blacks, you have the Hispanics, they are there working with him you, when he was you, president. You are so, how can you explain that? You are the moderator of this program. Are yeah. you defending Biden? Are you defending Biden? I'm asking questions. No, no, no. Because the question is. No, no, no. Let's finish this. There's someone that's supposed to be put from the United States. I have to be asking the question in the mind of so many persons. No, I mean, no, 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 see, I, because sorry, you have sorry. the same persons in this government. No, how wait. are you going to explain you that? You have to find out how yes. many persons resigned, how many persons were fired from his cabinet, and find out what background they are. Most of the colors, they were fired. They were down the place or anything. But see, if you take one man, one man does not represent the whole community, that you favor one person who likes you, doesn't mean you are favor the community. Because at times, that person is also against the community. Anybody who does not do what Trump does, it doesn't matter whether you are anything. If, if people, the, the separatists, the, 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 there was a, um, uh, a, a gathering or a protest, and somebody ran over 
another black. And what did he say? Oh, you have the same angry people. Yeah, you have the same angry people. We're not talking of the person that was run over by a vehicle. You, you, you see, you have to be looking at it because it was the supreme basis of his thought that ran over a black man. As far as it's concerned, nothing has happened. We can't, we can't run a country like that. You can't. Right. You also look at how many of these other relationships that he has. Take, uh, uh, for instance, the issue of Palestinians and the Israelis. Look at the kind of... You're supposed to be a moderator, but look at what happened. You, you shifted a, 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 a headquarter from one place to another because you think you're an American and that thing must happen. It's not that. It was against international law. Mm -hmm. The whole world decided on something. You came and changed it because you think you have power. And that has ignited a lot of war. Look, today, uh, Israeli and the Palestinians are at war. People are being killed here and there. That doesn't make any sense for human interaction. Right. So we need to. How many guns began to increase? Gun, gun, gun matters began to increase in America. Go and find out how many uh, blacks or find were we are killed by people with, with uh, uh, the separatist movement in the, the whites on, on, on the streets of America. I'll how many people were killed? I'll Just because they are black, not because they committed an offense. Yes. But how many of them have been persecuted? I so, will come back to you, Reverend. You, you just calm down. Watch your emotions, OK? This is strong. No, and of course, it's no, ambition I, I, to be I, the president of America. the realities on the that ground. we're talking about. OK. Well, comrade, yes. with all these lawsuits on the ground, do you think it might just be a huge impediment to his own ambition of becoming the president of America? Because right now, he's saying, despite the lawsuit, despite the hate, uh, despite the intimidation, is he going to run, and he is going to win. He keeps saying it. No, uh, and then now ask you, Wilson. Yes. Will he have said, I'm not going to win? <laughs> No, no, no. Since, since you are a Trump man, who believe Trump is... I'm nobody's man. No, like, I'm not about this man. Yeah. I'm not about this Now, man. do you think that Trump saying it will make it happen? No. For me, I like his courage. But sometimes his courage are too raw and too uncultured that they do not make sense to a reasonable person who walks with his head normal. Not somebody who has a psychic distortion. Now, the point is this, is that Trump has made this statement over and over again. He has also believed that if you die, you die on your own. It doesn't matter, so long as he wins election. And that's his position. So for me, the suits that are in court, let the court decide them. And whatever the court decides to do, Trump can't stop the court. He cannot. Once the court says, Trump, you are not qualified to go ahead, it's finished. Let him can go to the Supreme Court. He has a choice. Somebody who is not trustworthy in just five minutes, he say one thing. Now when you're not telling, he say, okay, no, 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 no. I, 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 no, 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 I, I, no, no, no. Now, he, he's, he's already talking. He tell lies per second. You cannot trust his statement as a leader and go to bed and sleep. But don't forget that during his time, also, he was able to calm the nerve of North Korea. The tension of the Korea Peninsula was almost not there while it was around. Now, now can I tell you? Between Russia also, you were able to broke up peace that there was no gun fire. No, no, can I tell you? During this tenure. Can I tell you this? Yes. You see, because he said he's not a normal person, mm. those things can happen in his time. Nobody says that madmen don't have results too. Yes. Are you what I'm saying now? Madmen have results too. Even madmen also achieve results. Let me give an example. Tell me an just now. That a madman told somebody in Ring Road who was driving his car, please give me money that I take feed this madman. <laughs> so, which means that even a madman, once in a while, also has some sanity. Yes. Okay? That gives him what he said. That in a deed was humanitarian. Was kind words. Isn't that true? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that has not changed his, his lunacy from the position. The tempo at which Trump is going, I say he wants to blackmail America and American society to make him president. And that's what he's doing. He's a blackmail. And he's he, not he speaking us. Now, now, no. It was Listen, said. No, hold on. He said, You no, guys no, are going to run. See, see, my dear. You guys are pursuing me. Can, can I tell you? Going to run, I'm no, going no, to no, no, can I tell you? Yes. Now, when you say he's saying, I'm not, I didn't say he didn't say so, hmm. but I'm just telling you that what he's saying is to blackmail the American society mm. to give him the ticket back again. Even blackmailing people. Because when he says, I will still contest, 
It means that he believes that he's right, everybody is wrong. Does it happen like that, Wilson? That you, only you, they are the right person. Not everybody is wrong. Whatever everybody is saying doesn't make sense, except what you say it makes sense. I am only pleading that Americans should be conscious of their country's status in the world global politics. This same man sees China as a threat. And that was why Chinese products were elevated in terms of tax, so that they can crush Chinese people. To support Americans but, 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 to but, grow. But, but, but unfortunately, right now. From what is said, oh, no, 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 to I, make no, America can, economy to no, no, thrive, no, and that's that, helped in a way. No, hold on, no, hold on, oh, hold on, right. hold on. All right. I just mentioned that as one of the issues he has is tackled. Yes. Is it not true? Yes. But has that changed the story? Chinese food is still raiding American market today. No, you get what I'm saying now. Now, the same person said that, uh, what's his name, this disease that came, COVID, COVID. was Chinese, uh, what did he call that? He gave it a name. Was Chinese it? disease. Chinese disease. Mm. When, when the thing now at, affect him, I don't know what now happens. <laughs> you see, people of this status, once you are a leader, my dear, the certain things you don't say, no matter how, free, how you feel strongly about them, the, your behaviors should be such a way that they are references people will learn from. Because we are told in social discourse that once you are a leader, watch what you say, where you are found, and what you do. Maybe the only Bible somebody will study in life. If Trump knows this fact, I'm sure he would have rethink what he's doing. Because what he's doing now is only setting a standard for the younger generation to come and believe that touting and talking reckless with people is the other way to go. And I'm not sure himself, the day he leaves the office, even if he wins the election, for instance, after four years, a young man who is now president now insults him and asks him, I will, I will fire you. I don't know how he's going to feel. Trump can commit suicide for being talked to. But if you talk to people, denigrate them. Look, my, my friend, I am telling you this today, that my prayer is that the world will not have this kind of reference as a leadership reference. He believes he will win. Fine. And that's why he's contesting. If you didn't believe you win, will you contest? <laughs> I mean, you won't contest. Yeah, I will contest and I will win. I'll be like my president. Of course, yeah, that's why he's contesting. All right. But whether the law in reference will give him the window to do so, it's a different game entirely. All so right. I'm saying, let's leave the judiciary is already doing their job. job. Let them complete their job. And when the job is done, and the people, the judiciary now says, this man will go ahead, Hosanna. If okay. they say he should not go ahead, Hosanna. All but right. let nobody be deceived that Trump who is the who is the uh, the defendant can say he's guilty he will never say so he will right. simply say he's right and people are wrong thank you thank you so so much well as a closing chapter in this particular discussion reverend <laughs> what do you think what do you think in one minute one minute each what do you think would be trump's next move is he going to succumb to the law or the law eventually will have no hold on him due to lack of evidence. Like what? It's like going you know, to be selling just so many of them coming out somehow hurt. You are breaking the minute already. <laughs> you are defending him. <laughs> Trump will be Trump any day, anywhere. Yes. But that does not mean that he has the law to himself. Okay. The law will take his course. Even in all this, Trump, it's local elections, mayor elections, they are uh, they have lost the elections to uh, Democrats. Mm -hmm. They say revolt. You see, what we don't see, even in everywhere, majority, you hardly hear majority speak. You can hear few minorities who have access mm -hmm. to media yeah. to talk as if they are talking on behalf of everybody. Mm -hmm. But one election, the only good news, or like Nigeria, where election cannot be, you cannot, you cannot find the votes. The electoral officer in the county cannot take orders from the president of America. It is the law in that place. That's the only sanity that American election has. For that election, we see what happens. Oh, but once the judiciary again, Trump has lost a lot of cases, right from the high court to the, to the Supreme Court. He has lost a lot of cases in this, in this window period. Okay. And once that is done, he cannot force himself to Bridge itself to, uh, to be related for. Thank when you, the law says you cannot. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you. So, I'm saying, uh, as your last line, thank you so much for your last yes. line, Reverend. So, much saying, 
all this you are saying, all these Trump is going through, these are just Democrats trying to poke the integrity of Donald Trump and is going to come at top in one minute. What do you say about that? Well, uh, for me, yes. uh, let the court take their position mm. and let the law preside. Mm. The law is an ass. Trump is not the law. So if law, if the law says Trump is not guilty, so be it. If he says Trump is guilty, so be it. But for information, if the court says Trump is guilty, Trump cannot contest the American election. That is not because Democrats say he should not. That is because the law says he cannot contest. But some are saying that the ones behind it. No, no, anybody, anybody can say so. Like I said yes. just now, even a criminal, a criminal, yes. when he's caught in crime, he will say, I'm not, I'm not guilty. Mm. Isn't, have you heard it in court? Yeah. He has said so. He said, I'm not guilty. You say why? He gives reason why he's not guilty. All right, all right. So, so it, but it depends on whether the, the court, the judge, will, will, will see his reason as, as reasonable enough to vindicate him. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. The cases are still on, but it's like the man is managing to somehow come at top. Some, he loses some, he wins. Let's see. He's saying all these things are targeted towards his ambition because he wants to run for the 2024 presidential election. Of course, among the Republican right now, his voice, according to your analysis, is still the strongest so far amongst the candidates. Let's see how all these will pan out. Republicans are made up of crooks. Gentlemen, thank you. You guys don't like Trump. I, 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 I can no, see it. I can see it. These are Trump destroyed thank Republicans. You. Thank you. You don't, you don't have them. Republicans. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Them. No, you thank you. Them. Thank you, gentlemen. No. We'll do it again. No, thank you for Let's sending Trump. Not really. Not really. Bye for now.